ダブルクラッシュといこうぜヘヘイガイスハウスエンゴーエンエツミミオギウェルカムバックトゥサモアフドライバーサンフランシスコ When we left off, we just finished、uh, some of the main missions of the story. Now we're going to continue with us for the moment. And just like I said on the previous part, we're just going to be focusing on the main events. I'll be doing all the challenges, the quick races, the, all the findings of SCAM. And if we ever accomplish the DeLorean challenge request by one of our subscribers, I would actually show it in this episode. Hopefully, we get to access it at this episode. If not, it's going to be. It's gonna be such a pain mentally to just, you know, try to hunt on a DeLorean off screen just to get it to work. Okay, without further ado, let's continue. Previously on Driver San Francisco. Convicted cop killer and international smuggling kingpin, Charles Jericho, faces sentencing later today. Jericho put a bullet in my back and a lot of good men in the ground. Jericho's going down today. You did that. Be proud of that. 40 and 30 on the move to assist officers under fire from a goddamn news chopper. There's no part of me that wants to believe what I've yeah, seen. You saw it. I'm not losing my mind. It's real. It's actually quite nice that we get this sort of recap at the start, the moment I logged in back after we just cleared the chapter. I think we've cleared the chapter. But anyway,、um, enough about us、uh, fanboying over how it was made. Which, by the way, I just came back from reading.、Uh, I, did, I did some research on the side and. Try to actually look what was the hype that was surrounding Driver、you、San Francisco. On, I know, she's such a bitch. Wait, did you say something?、Uh, okay, excuse me, what? That's not what I was after. But anyway,、um, let's see how far we are. How far we are from Tanner. But yeah, what I was saying is, I was doing some reading about Driver San Francisco. A lot of people actually like this game.、Um, Though it was a shame that somewhere around 2016, they. It's really odd that Ubisoft themselves actually pulled the plug on it. I don't know why either. Some people say it's licensing, but some others actually say it's like the drive, Driver 3 or Driver Parallel lines all over again, the, that fiasco. Hopefully that wasn't the case. This is Dispatch. We have a 207 in progress near City Hall. A kidnapping? Hell, today just got interesting. Victims one, Sarah Allen. She managed to call us on her cell from the trunk of the kidnapper's vehicle. We're on it. Patch her through. If she's calling from the back of a, of a vehicle, I mean, yeah, unless the kidnappers are riding, driving really slow, won't they be notified that she's doing something shady at the back that would alert them that she's trying to contact the cops?、Uh, just my thoughts on things. Okay, just one more section here. Oh, by the way, since this is a main story, look, I'm、no、pressing、better. Z. I'm pressing Z, nothing's happening. I can't shift. So, yeah, looks like we're obligated to use Tanner for the rest of this mission. God damn, Alfa Romeo. Hold on, Zara. We're coming. Just give me a moment to get accustomed again to this Dodge Challenger. Okay, Sarah, where are you now? I heard a bunch of police sirens. I don't. No, there's nothing to be called in. Maybe ambulance sirens. City hospital folk. Good call. Did she just get cut off, or that was just actually part of the story? Whew. Okay, there we officially lost her. God damn it. Now, what now? Gotta put myself in her place. What are you? Jones, I'm trying to focus. Now, we need to focus on the lady in the dance hall. I am. Just believe in him, Jones. I mean, aren't you a believer already? Oh, dang. The Embarcadero. Go. What? 
I was there, in the trunk. I busted it open. Give me the heads up when you do it. I want to know if you're Tanner or some zombie autopilot. Sorry, freaking zombie. <laughs> See what I mean when I say that Jones is a lovable character? I'm seeing patios. That's a start. Downtown. She's definitely downtown. Right, right. It's gonna take me a while to get with all the crazy sight and stuff. I thought you were a believer already, man! Oh, I thought I was gonna hit the armored van there. She's right here, damn it. Somewhere off this road. I saw tables like a cafe. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Ho. Oh boy. There we go. That guy looks suspicious to you. The one driving away at high speed? Yes, he does. Well, we ain't gonna get the girl out in one piece if we ran the back of the vehicle. Yeah, he has a point. So, shift to the oncoming traffic. So, okay, so it's telling us that we can, other than just traverse to one car from another, just to, you know, get the stuff done, we can actually use the traffic in our favor. And you know that I could have done that back in the race. I know you guys may comment that. But I decided for most races, I am not going to shift and try to destroy the competition. for Just for the races, of course. Alright, let's see. It's not a Mustang, but I'll take it. Oh gosh, damn it, I missed. Okay, th this is gonna take some time to get used to. What the hell happened? Yes, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Jeez. Okay, we need one more. Do it again. Oh, 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 oh. F-150. Good choice. No, I won't. I'm nowhere fast. <laughs> well done. Why, thank you. Sarah Allen got rescued. Okay, that, that's one part of the main plot taken care of. Ma'am? Are you okay? Who are you? Angels. We're detectives. Close enough. Did you find me? You don't even want to know. Can you tell us any more about what happened? There was this woman. She was striking... Sounded foreign, maybe Middle Eastern? She held a knife to my back, and then some goon threw me in the trunk. Was she in the car, too? No. She went off separately. I got a glimpse of her car. Some kind of white sports car, really expensive looking. So, there's big money involved. But why you? What line of work are you in? I'm an industrial chemist. What you reckon, Jack? Drugs? Could be. But there's something that doesn't smell right about this. Nothing smells right about this. At all. An industrial chemist? Why is that ringing alarm bells? But we've got a partial description on the kidnapper and her vehicle. Could lead to something. Seriously? Expensive looking sports car. I mean, yeah, it can narrow it down to European models. I mean, I, we could throw the Ford GT there in the mix. It's still broad if you ask me. But yeah, well, at least we can narrow it down to European G uh, EDMs. Is that what you call it? EDMs? Europe? How, uh, how's my partner, Doc? He's stable. We're hoping to take him off the ventilator tomorrow. Okay, now we just started Chapter 2. Good Samaritan. So at least we're not an asshole anymore. We're not a hero. So, uh, how's she doing? 
Ah, she shook up. It should be all right. Well, it's not every day you get locked in the trunk of a car. Not for her, anyway. <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. I can see some slight inconsistencies there in the cutscenes, but I'm not gonna even bother complaining. Okay, so we got a new ability, Rapid Shift. Press dash to Rapid Shift. Rapid Shift cancel Shift. Return instantly to the vehicle. Moving up in the world. Well, I've got to practice this. Get okay, you're good. Shift. Oh, now this is something. Keep the action, press then to rapid shift, rapid shift between partners, okay. Oh! Take down again, okay. Alright, I thought we I, we could skip that one. I was wrong! Ooh, didn't mean, didn't mean that one. Whoa! Wait, the guy's in, it's in a Chevrolet Volt. That's technically an electric car. He's trying to get away in a Prius. Are you kidding me? He's getting away in an American Prius. Seriously? Oh god damn it. I, I really need to get used to ramming from. You might want to hang on to something. If you were driving this thing properly, I would need to. Oh, that's a female! Escaping in the Okay, all right as promised we are going to focus on main missions. Okay, so there's a one right now and enter Listen to me KP calm down put your pacifier back in your mouth and uh... Hey, bitch, your boy little baby and bite my rhymes. So tonight my crew's gonna bust up the launch party. Crazy P sounds real mad Jackie What you gonna do? Well, the venue's a secret Secret? You got signs all over town, you clown. I'll see you later, JP. Oh boy, there's gonna have a lot of censoring. I can feel it right now. Okay, so we're gonna do the big break, get to the club before the show starts. So, okay, so it's a smash mission. Mark objects, add time, smash to reveal destination. Not all objects need smashing. Okay. Jesus Christ, Harry. I need Lil Bay to play at least one gig before he hits the more. Yeah, the world's crying out for more rappers. KP doesn't know where the show is, so we just smash all the street ads. I'll be damned. I never knew there was a brain under all that beat. The brain's new. Okay, so we get around three seconds each sign, and we need to keep it around in a minute. Or to say the least, it at least once we get to the destination, we can stop. Get it together, Gary, for God's sake. We'll be back for those later. You still think you're gonna bust up the party tonight, KP? If it ain't tonight, it's gonna be soon. Ha! Little Bay's gonna be so huge after this drop, you're gonna need a bolt over to get past his entourage. Ha! Good luck finding the club now, KP! You gonna pay for this, Viola? I'm gonna get paid when Little Bay's spitting on you from the top of the chart. I just don't understand Americans at this I've point. I've got a reputation in this town, Gary. I can't be seen in a beat-up ride. Yeah, I'm sure you've got a reputation. Oh, wheelie there for a second. Oh, we're there. Okay. Yo, KP. You know where Little Bay's gig is? No, you don't. Ha! I'm sensing she's dead after as soon as I shift out of his driver. Okay, so we get some stunt activities unlocked. Hopefully, if hopefully that's the smash activity late that we will do later, so that um, we could get the DeLorean. I mean, hopefully it contains the DeLorean.
On second thought... Yeah, we are so doing it right now. Fi we're gonna do it a Wait, we're in a vault? Okay, good. Oh, yes, we're in the meaty boy! We got the meaty GTR! Alright, I forgot. Off screen, I actually used up some of my willpower and bought a GTR for myself. I mean, it's a shame that the R34 does not exist. So we're gonna have to sell for this big boy. Okay, so let's just do this quickly. I might time skip into the goal. And there we are. Okay, the GDR is a bit banged up, but I'm not. I don't care. At least we got the DeLorean right now. Hopefully, I'm right that we got the DeLorean. Oh yes, now we can go. And coincidentally, there's a there's a car shop nearby. And there it is, my boys, the DMC DeLorean. For those who don't know, this is the car that was used in the film Back to the Future, and it's just worth ten grand. And we got eighteen in our bank. So okay, we're driving the DeLorean right now. So the last thing that he told me, uh, that one subscriber from the last episode, he told me to drive this thing to 88 miles per hour and I'm gonna see some serious shiz. And let's just do it right now for the sake of it. 60, 70. I'm seeing yellow lines. We're hitting a hunt. Oh, hello. Blast from the past unlock. You hit 88 miles per hour. Play in world or from garage. If that's the case, I'm bringing this DeLorean over to the mission. Here's the challenge. Are you the wheelman? Prove your. Hey! Am I sensing this right? Is this what I think it is? Is this it? I'm feeling it in my voice. Is this it? Is this it? Oh my god, it is! It's a throwback to PlayStation 1's original... To PlayStation 1's original driver! Woo! And there we go. Cleared it. Woo. Yeah, just like yeah, definitely just like old times. I am surprised. And um, the challenge level of this one still feels almost the same as back then in the PS1 era. And if I'm right back then, this was like the quote unquote the dark souls of racing games because of the initiation test was the hardest. And if you are going to do the uh, the undercover mode of Driver 1 back in the day, they, when they say hard, they literally went balls to the walls hard on that one. It's that hard for a first mission, especially if you're not used to racing games on the PS1. Like a lot of people were complaining and well me included given what just happened. <laughs> yeah, but it's over now. But yeah, that was actually quite a good Easter egg it's a, and it's a good throwback. There's a reason I'm driving the car, Preston. Someday when you've got more experience. Oh, Shavik Kowalski, pulling over these jerks isn't gonna do anything. They're breaking the law. I'm gonna get them off the streets and maybe save some lives. Okay, so we're gonna be- Is that a GTR? Am I going to have to hurt GDRs? I got a love-hate relationship with street racers. Love-hate? Hate not getting an invite to the race. Love crashing the party. Speaking of crashing, okay, it's time to introduce these guys to some walls. You say walls, I say trucks. Welcome to bring your granddaughter to work. <laughs> like that. <laughs> ah, school's in session. Who's next? Okay, second so one, two, 
three more. I need another truck. Is this a big meaty boy? It's a big meaty boy! <laughs> Scratch one. Who's up next? This is going to get scary. Compared to what I have seen, nothing in America is spike. Oh dang it! Oh, he—they actually crashed. Okay. Okay. That does not feel good for me. Taken down, two. Remaining, two. Okay, so two more. Oh, that GDR is quick! That boy got some reflexes. You know what? Let's get the one in the far end of the backpack first. think they got it wrapped up time for a surprise um Tanner don't you mean just guy he's the only one left not too slow I think I forgot about you did you that was too slow big me a that boy coming through I mean fuel tank You were saying? I hope we can all take something away from this. I'll meet you back at the station for refreshments. Okay, so yeah, um, if it was just a regular chase and it's just like one person, I would actually do that. I would actually, you know, could have done that better on my own. But since we're, it's a little bit of a not a press for a time sort of thing. But since we need to take them out quickly before they finish the race, we gotta do those. So expect more of those. Wait, that voice sounds familiar. I put down every dollar we won last time. We're gonna double our money. You're crazy. I told you, I barely remember racing. Whatever you did, just do it again, Jun. Because if we screw this up, we lose the car. Uh, because I also bet the car. You idiots! Excuse me? Ayumu, this is the epitome of bad decision making. Jesus Christ, I thought this was all for your tuition. You ready to double our money? That's a hell of a responsibility to dump on my shoulders. Well, Tanner, you're technically not wrong there. Oh boy, this this Aston Martin is bringing it. I can destroy the competition. Yeah, I'm a ninja type person. Whatever. Weirdo. Never do that again, Tanner. That's racist. But okay, they're actually bringing in a little bit of the extra guns, so I'm gonna bring it out myself too. If only I could hook up one of those guys we into that tow truck. We don't have mechanics to fix up our car when we're done. Double flesh to you go there. Oh, oh. If we win, no more stupid street race betting. Deal? Deal. Oh, trust me, Tanner. Knowing a kid, they're gonna go back again on their word on that. Okay, so we're halfway through. I meant to do that. We lose this, and I'm going back to Nagoya, remember? Oh, we can't have that. I miss you terribly. 
Wait, I thought you two are gonna go to Nagoya if that happens. You keep this up, and I swear, if you ever need a kidney, I'm your guy. Why are we talking organ donation? I'm just saying, I'm grateful. You know? Okay, so that's one way to express your love to your brother. By saying, I'll be your organ donor. What? Dad, I'm sweating! Yeah, it's not a good look. Only front, baby! We should talk about the wisdom of staking everything on a single race. What are you talking about? We're kicking ass! Hi, Yamu. It won't always be this way. What, you're magically going to forget how to drive like this? Yes! Like he always does. We just got rich. Yes, we did. Screw college. We should do this for a living. Oh, jeez. Oh no. When he says that, he means that. Oh my God, this is not gonna end. This is not gonna end well for those kids. Okay, so we got two more missions. Oh, one more mission, and we do the main course. And hopefully once we finish the main course is when we're going to end this episode. But I'm actually glad that we got to do the Easter egg already. We got the DeLorean. We got a throwback to Driver 1. It's a really great throwback. Frustrating if I may add, but I'm not complaining. I've had a bad day. I'm in a bad mood. And these guys are going to ruin the day. Ooh. A church. They broke into a church? Yeah. And stole the poor box. I've had a bad day. I'm in a bad mood, and these guys are gonna rue the day. Amen to that, sister. We ain't pulling punches with these guys, agreed? I've waited years to say this. Say what? We're on a mission from God. Oh my god, geez, Tanner, stop! I mean, I get your age and all, but I don't recall you being a father. Okay, just a few more hits. Oh, he's smart. Options, options. Get back in the chase in a squad car, or use some traffic to slow this guy down. Using traffic to slow that guy down is the perfect option. Right, what do we got? That was a bad call. Finish him. Ooh, ow! I felt that! Another happy end. I felt that! Did you see how his... I felt that! Okay, now back to Tanner, and hopefully it stops at this point. I mean, we've been running for almost half an hour already. I think this is more than enough for this episode. So, T, let's get back. How's it going? Ha <laughs> ha! Decided to pay us mortals a visit, huh? Well, you up for some real police work? Hit me. We got a tip on the car Sarah Allen spotted near the kidnap. The one belonging to our mysterious knife-wielding beauty? Well, things are looking up. Okay, so we are to investigate the lead on the kidnapper. Okay. Okay, what's the deal? Tip is, there's a suspect vehicle matching the description in Midtown, near Grace Cathedral. Ah, thank the Lord. Let's go. Okay, look for the suspect in Midtown. So we go straight. Once we pass the alley, we turn right. Dr. Allen described a white European sports car. We find the car. Maybe we find out who the girl with the knife was. Clear a case for one. Oh, there it is already. Okay, that was actually closer than I, than I anticipated. Excuse me. Oh, hello, Aston Martin. Got it. Woo! Baby, this girl is calendar material. We gotta get close. I swear there's something familiar about her. All right, sit tight and I'll see if we can get an ID. I have a bad feeling Jones is doing this for the wrong reasons.
Hey, you're too close, Tanner. Pull back a bit. Just, just don't lose. Do this, do that. When did we get married? <laughs> oh boy, I forgot. I, did, I don't need to be that close. So we should be within proximity, but not too close. Gotcha. Runner plates, old-fashioned police work. Now you're talking my language. Control, this is 40 out of 30. Run this plate for us, would you? 8BR8139. Acknowledged. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot you a pick too. The suspect was pretty far away, but do the best you can. Understood. I think Jones here overestimating the term pretty. Or using it in a different context. Okay, so she gets aroused when we hit 50. 40 out of 30, do you read? Yeah, what you got for us? The vehicle is registered to a 79-year-old woman from Idaho. Yeah, right. Like, Grandma's gonna be rolling in the car like that. We ran the pictures through the national database. Didn't turn up anything. Try Interpol control. I've got a bad feeling about this one. Stand by. Adam 30, this is Control. Interpol got a hit on that visual. She's coming up as an American citizen of Egyptian descent, uh, Leela Sharon. Leela Sharon. Damn, this is Major League. Thanks, Control. Out. Oh, you know her? She's got quite a reputation. Not for her looks. So what do you know about her? She's a killer for hire. Cut her teeth in Africa. Whichever dirty war, whichever side, the girl knows how to get paid. Yeah, well, I wouldn't mind paying her some... She's not your type, Jones. Unless you like girls who stab you on the first date. Pricey, too. Only one crook in town's got the weight to put her on the payroll. Jericho. I knew it. Hey, put your foot down. She's pulling too far ahead. I'm on it. Hey, she's heading onto the freeway. Then so are we. We're keeping up, actually. And I actually noticed earlier that, that Aston had four... Yeah, that's pretty much how I roll. Like, I remember that Aston had, like, what, four doors? Whoa, is she hit a bus? Hold up. John, what are you doing, man? She's right there. I can't go through that. Through what? Okay, we are definitely taking you to the hospital. This is affecting you, man. No, I'm fine. Look, we've got to let her go. Just trust me on this one. Well, at least we know who we're looking for. She'll turn up again. In my dreams of nowhere else. Oh boy, Jones. Seriously? <laughs> uh, okay. Hopefully there's Layla one more. Sharon, okay, assassin. there we go. You could bet your life she's our shooter from the helicopter. Which means she's on Jericho's payroll. And if she fixed Sarah Allen's kidnapping too, that means Jericho needs a chemist. Okay, so it's another update to the piece of the puzzle. Okay, so that actually leaves us to the end of this part of Driver San Francisco. I think this is part 4, part 5. I'll need to run through the numbers again. But okay, so story updates. Layla Sharon is actually working for Jericho as far as Tanner and Jones deduced. And we've cleared all the star missions in the previous chapter. Uh, we got the DeLorean, which also means that we were able to accomplish that one mission that requires the DeLorean. I'm actually happy with the progression of this of today's episode. And yeah, thanks again for the trivia, my guy, um, the subscriber who commented. And uh, the guy named Zach, yeah, thanks very much again for that one throwback. I'm, re I'm getting nostalgia vibes. So if I accidentally dropped an A-bomb of like a, of a quote-unquote speed run, um, that's like um, to be determined, or just like one exhibition run of the past ps1 games i might do it and i might blame you for it <laughs> i'm just kidding but yeah thanks again for that one so we're going to continue this on on the next episode and i'll see you guys in the next driver san francisco